The Oakland County prosecutor is speaking out for the first time about why she chose not to criminally charge ex-City Council President Charles Pugh. 7 Action News was the first to report last week that Pugh would not face charges over accusations he was sexually inappropriate with a student he mentored. Our Ross Jones leading the way on this story and Ross fill us in on why. Well the prosecutor was very candid today in an interview. Jessica Cooper did not mince words when describing Pugh as a predator and how her case against him just wasn't there. I think it's predatory behavior. I do think that that he was very um, clever. He waited until he was 18. Charles Pugh knew what he was doing and how to do it. That's according to the woman who weighed charging him with criminal sexual conduct fourth degree. But ultimately, said Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper, the case was far from perfect. As we were first to report on Friday, Pugh sent hundreds of flirtatious, often graphic, sexually charged text messages to a high school student he mentored here at the Frederick Douglass Academy. He met the young man when he was 17, but the text messages obtained by police were sent after he turned 18. I went through a lot of it. How would you describe them? Disturbing. Disturbing. Here are just a few sent by the ex-city council president. Truth is, I've had a crush on you all year, he wrote in one. I just couldn't say or do anything about it until now. The messages quickly turned graphic and were sent often. Pew told the student that he'd pay him for taking videos of himself performing sex acts. He said he normally paid $100, but he was willing to up the reward. I pay more for solos, LOL. $125 for solos and $150 if you shoot the vid over here, he wrote. He also told the student to delete all the messages and keep their arrangement a secret. What we talk about is private, because if I can really trust you, then I really want to help you a lot through college and everything. You'll always have money in your pocket. The text messages were sent from Wayne County, meaning they were outside of Cooper's jurisdiction. The crux of her case rested on an allegation that Pew made a pass at the young man, touching his inner thigh at a store parking lot. According to police, there were no witnesses to corroborate that it ever happened. We're dealing with credibility, and we're dealing with the fact that he's 18, and we're dealing uh, with the fact that in, in this county, uh, we had nothing that we could pursue. Do you believe that the past took place? Probably. Not strong enough to prove to a jury. If, are, are we going to be able to prosecute anybody who makes a pass. And now even some Detroit Public Schools officials are weighing in. DPS Board President Lamar Lemon said if it were up to him, Pew wouldn't have run a mentorship program inside an all-boys school. I objected to his placement at the uh, Frederick Douglass All-Boys Academy because, quite frankly, um, it, he's had these rumors surrounding him from quite some time. But as Cooper told me today, rumors don't stand up in front of a jury. After weighing the case for weeks, she said she and her staff just weren't convinced they could prove that a crime occurred. That doesn't mean that Pew's behavior doesn't worry her. Is it predatory behavior? Yeah. Um, am I concerned he's in New York working with young people? Yeah. Um, can I do anything legally about it? Not me. Someday, somewhere, someone will be able to do that. The family's attorney says they are preparing a civil suit against Pew. He shut off his cell phone, but I did hit send him an email Friday seeking comment for this story. So far, no response. Okay, we'll wait and see, Ross. We will. Yeah, that's Thank hard you. to hear. Thank you, Ross.